The reason why I'm moving all my makeup over here is because I like to do my makeup right in front of the window. Sometimes when I do my makeup right beside my vanity table, it's not the best just because the lighting over here, the light doesn't stream this way. I also haven't cleaned my beauty blender in like ages, so that's kind of disgusting. Uh, let's just ignore that, I guess. This is the situation of my desk. It's super messy. I have like a billion books and journals and all of that up here. Let's get started. Gonna take my nasty beauty blender. Gonna go wet it. Yeah, your girl is like breaking out. Sometimes I can't tell if it's because I'm eating bad or is it just because like my period is coming in. It's one of those two. Oh god, I think I used too much. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Having a good foundation is a very good investment. To be honest, if your foundation looks good, then your whole face just comes together really well. Oh god, my lips are so chapped. That's kind of disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Eyeliner, eyeliner. Oh, my dad just called me. What do you call for? No, I'm not, not okay. Too late. I'm worried about it. Oh, okay. I told my dad to get me Popeyes, so that's why he called. These past two weeks, I've been craving Popeyes. For some reason, Popeyes has just been like calling my name. This is my finished makeup look. It took me so freaking long. Let me just show you guys the dry shampoo that I've been using recently. I'm pretty okay. sure like everyone's heard of this before, but I just started. I'd say that it's well worth the hype. It's just the Batiste dry shampoo, the original one. I used to basically just spray it onto my hair and then not really wait for it to kind of like settle. Oh my God, this angle is so bad. Why am I always filming myself at these terrifying angles? Okay, that's kind of a bad angle too, but whatever. I'm gonna shake this. All right. It's a faulty shaking. So before I forget, I'm just gonna quickly go through the books that I just picked up recently. As usual, I'm not gonna give like a very in-depth summary of these books because like I mentioned countless times in my previous videos, I'm really bad at that. But as always, I will keep everything linked down below if you're interested. So the first book that I picked up, this is really tiny actually. I finished it in probably 10 to 15 minutes. It's called Steal Like an Artist by Austin Clone. It's really tiny, but I feel like it's worth reading just because I think I've realized how important it is to read books by other creatives now that I'm sort of pursuing a very non-traditional path. It gives you a very different perspective on how to view the world, your creative medium, and just everything around you um, in a completely different way, like ways that I've never really thought about. So it's very interesting. The second one that I'm currently reading, I'm maybe like halfway through it, is called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. As you can see, I've already made like a couple of notes and highlighted a couple of things. There's a lot of very interesting points that she makes in this book that have been in my head this entire week. Like I literally cannot forget forget about them. So far, I'm pretty pleased with this book. I'm only halfway through, like I said, so I can't give like a definitive review, but it's pretty good. And then the last one that I got is called Built to Last, Successful Habits of Visionary Companies by Jim Collins. So this isn't a creative book. This is more just like a productivity book. Um, I haven't read it yet, so I can't really say too much about it, but from what I've read online, everyone seems to really enjoy it. But like I said, haven't read it, so I can't really say too much. I will keep everything linked down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and film the video that I've been planning to film since the beginning of this week. Like, I gotta stop procrastinating, so I will get back to you. Just finished filming. This is a state of my desk. It is 4.25 right now. I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to add on some, like, Twitch emotes. I've been meaning to add, like, a bunch of new ones because I only have, like, two up right now. Also, I just want to say a quick word about, like, my merch. If you try to purchase something on my store before and you try to use PayPal, it wasn't available, but now it is. So if you're interested in picking up a piece, such as, like, a hoodie or the tote bag, PayPal is now available. So you can check it out if you'd like. 
All right, so we're starting off the vlog a little bit late today. Here I am about to make some reckless money decisions. So the pro is out of my budget, but I think I can afford the air. In a way, I see it as like an investment. So I don't feel that guilty. I'm gonna add this Apple Pencil. Oh, wow, they have like all these products. I was not even aware. <gasps> Logitech crayon. What is that? I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're in the middle of a snowstorm, so that's lovely. I love Canada. Just getting ready to curl my hair. It's been a while since I've curled it. Just used the heat protectant, watching some Desperate Housewives, getting ready for the day. Just finished curling my hair. As you can see, it's not super curly. It's more of like a wavy kind of look. Ignore my bed. <laughs> I didn't make it today. So if you guys remember, I told you that I ordered an iPad recently. It's still coming in. It's going to take a bit. I decided to order some things off of Amazon to kind of, I guess, in a way, prepare for the arrival of my iPad. This is not related to the iPad, but I got my favorite vanilla syrup that I use for my coffee every single day. I honestly cannot live without this. This is the first thing that I got, a matte screen protector. I don't really like the feeling of kind of writing on glass and stuff like that on just like the bare iPad screen. Here it is. This is just a regular gray case. I was debating on getting either this color or a red one. Yay, Amazon haul. I know this is like super unrelated, but I've already started making my little Christmas playlist. I'm so excited. I only have like four songs in here. I'm going to be adding some more. Also, I got a scratch on my iPhone screen, so ignore that. Let me know if you guys have any song suggestions. Just in case anyone's curious about what the syrup looks like, if you haven't seen my previous videos before, this is just what it looks like. It's something that I use practically every single day and I just can't go back to using like regular sugar in my coffee or agave syrup. Tarani? 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 <laughs> Vanilla syrup. Actually a coffee crackhead. Just just an FYI if you didn't know that already but I'm sure you guys already know that so that's pretty much gonna be it for this vlog honestly these past couple of weeks have just been me straight up like doing work planning being productive things like that so nothing too crazy to be honest and then when I'm not working I'm literally just straight up watching a bunch of shows which is really bad but at the same time I feel like I'm the kind of person I get in these moods where I either work really really hard but because I work really, really hard, I burn out really, really fast. And so then I have periods where I'm just like really stressed and then other periods where I'm like really laid back and chill and then I just can't be productive for the life of me. It's just been like a roller coaster of those two kinds of moods if you guys know what i'm talking about and an fyi i did end up getting my g1 so i did promise you guys and i told you to hold me accountable since my last vlog and i said that i was gonna get my g1 and i did so i'm honestly really happy i know that it's like the smallest accomplishment and practically everyone else has their g1 already knows how to drive or whatever to me this is a really big deal because for someone that put it off for practically years and just didn't feel the need to get it and just had so much anxiety and stress over it now that i finally have it it feels really good to be honest but yeah now i just have to wait for a couple more months to get my g2 and yeah so that's gonna be very exciting i'm just so freaking excited to get my ipad like 
I'm so hyped. I'm not even kidding. I've just been watching a bunch of drawing videos. I'm so excited to get back into drawing because it's something that I used to be really, really into when I was little, but then I just stopped doing it altogether because I sort of lost my passion and creativity for doing anything like art related. If you guys stay till the very end, I freaking love and appreciate you so, so much. Like you guys honestly don't understand. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.